This video is brought to you by Earmen, makers of portable audio hardware. Click the link in the description box below for more information. Happy New Year everybody! How was your Christmas? Mine was a little bit different this year because I chose to work on the 25th and the 26th because up until about three days ago actually I was meant to be having a week off this week and then going to the Mediterranean for a few weeks from this weekend. But I kind of want to return to my Christmas break that wasn't because in the wake of my last video about the Audio Lab 6000 A Play, some developments <laughs> have, have come to light. Now, in that 6000 A Play video, I showed how the DTS PlayFi module that, that handles the streaming inside the amp doesn't hand the stream off to the amplifier streaming module, so it travels through the phone and that means the playback can be glitchy at times, but most egregious of all, there are five second gaps between all tracks. Now I think I handled it pretty well, considering how much of a deal breaker that is for me personally, but I did acknowledge that that's not a deal breaker for everybody, because some people just don't care. And at the end of Boxing Day, so the Zweiter, Weihnachtsfeiertag, as they say in Germany, at the end of that day, I kind of put the video up and I went to bed and I thought the video was nicely done, even though it contained some fairly kind of spicy material. But I thought, yeah, that's great, and now I can have a fairly quiet week leading up to New Year's. But that's not how it played out. Because I got up the following morning, and I thought, I know, I want to listen to that new Sleaford Mod single, where they cover Yazoo's Don't Go. So I pulled up the PlayFi app, donk, up came the normal screen, and then a little pop-up said, do you want to update your PlayFi module? I'm like, oh no. <laughs> obviously, obviously, PlayFi will not have rolled out an update because of my video. That would be arrogant of me to think that and naive of you to think that. It's just a routine update, right? But I applied it to see if it would do anything to the gapless playback, to see if it was still five seconds. So I played another Fabric Mix CD Sure enough, the five second gaps were still there. So I'm like, well, what the hell? What has this update done? So I went to the change log in the Google Play Store where I get the app and it mentioned something called transfer. I'm like, what the hell is transfer? So I thought, okay, obviously I've missed something here because it said that the new update reduces the gaps between tracks in transfer mode. So I pulled up the manual looking through to see if I've missed something and there's no mention of transfer mode in the manual. So I thought, well, how, you know, like, what is this? So then I went back to the app and there I saw it, right, right on the bottom right of the cover art, there's this little square with an arrow sort of pointing into it. Now, I didn't think this was a clickable button until I actually clicked it. And this is my mistake because I should have clicked it. I really should have done this. And if I'm to own up to any lack of thoroughness in my previous video, it's not clicking that button. Because clicking that button brought another pop-up and it said essentially, do you want to hand the stream off to the Audio Lab 6000 at A Play? And I'm like, yeah, you bet you I do. So I clicked that and sure enough, the stream pauses and then resumes on the 6000 A Play. And I tested this, but I turned my phone off and the music kept playing. So that's how I knew that the stream was traveling directly from the cloud to the amplifier and not through the phone. I thought this is great. And that also eliminated any sort of jittery playback. 
And then I tested gapless and transfer mode reduces gaps to around half a second, which is really on par with what Chromecast gives us. So you can hear the gaps there, but there's no way to like move through the track here. Transfer failed, something went wrong, please try again later. Now for me, a Chromecast style gap, so half a second, it's still not gapless and it still disturbs the hypnosis of continuously mixed albums. One reader wrote to me yesterday, making sure that I knew that how important gapless playback is to classical music listeners, because I don't listen to classical very often. So he was very adamant that he should have gapless playback in his hi-fi system. And I feel the same way when it comes to DJ mixes, live albums. I've gone through this many times before. I explained it in my last video. Now you might be thinking, well, come on, John, like five seconds to half a second, that's a major improvement. Yes, it is. And this reminded me of something that, <laughs> a story that took place when I was a teenager back living with my parents. Uh, it was probably mid eighties, maybe something like that. And my dad had decided to have double glazing windows installed. So out came the wooden ones, in went the UPVC or PVC windows. So you got a contractor to do this. A whole bunch of dudes turned up one day, took out the old windows, put the new ones in. Now it was the middle of summer, so it wasn't so crucial that the, window, <laughs> the windows were perfect because they weren't. Because I went to bed that night and I closed the window in my bedroom, the new window. And I could still hear cars on the road outside pretty clearly. I thought, what the hell's going on? So I stood up and I sort of peeked at the window and I could see a gap between the window frame and the actual sort of window mechanism itself. I'm thinking, that's not right. So I kind of tell my dad the following morning and he's like obviously super pissed off. So he phones the contractor, the contractor comes back, takes a look and goes, yeah, that's not right. You know, a five millimeter gap not cool. We'll get it sorted. So a bunch of dudes turned up the following week, took the faulty windows out where they existed. It was, I think it was three or four of them, put replacements back in. So I'm thinking that's going to be the end of it. So anyway, I go to bed after the new windows have been <laughs> installed and <laughs> I could still hear <laughs> traffic and cars outside. I'm like, what the hell? So I look at the window again and there is maybe a half a millimeter gap but it's still not perfect. It's still not what it should be when you're buying new windows. So by, you know, when I told my dad, he was furious. So he gets the contractor to come over, explains what's gone on. And the contractor had the gall to tell him, well, look, you know, like half a millimeter gap is way better than a five millimeter gap, isn't it? Now you can imagine why my dad saw complete red at that point, because obviously when you're buying new windows, you want there to be no gap, when the window seals into the frame. And that's how I feel about gapless playback in music streaming. So transfer mode gets us out of having the stream travel through the phone. It reduces the gaps to half a second, but it also introduces some fresh problems of its own. Firstly, we must engage transfer mode, so pushing that button on the now playing screen, every time we start play on a new album or single, which I think is kind of annoying. Why can't transfer mode 
be permanent? Or why can't we engage it on a permanent level? Maybe you can. I don't know. If you know how to do that, let us know in the comments below, because I haven't found out how to do that yet. That, that. You have to do this every time. So it kind of glitches on the start of every album that you play. But more egregious than that is that <laughs> when we're listening to an album and transfer mode is engaged, we can no longer browse Tidal or Cobas or Amazon Music, whichever streaming service we use. So if music's playing, if we then click the plus on the bottom right of the screen to go and find something else to listen to, music stops. And then we have to find that album that we want to listen to, push play, then re-engage transfer mode. And I think on Android, every time we do that, we also have to re-engage critical listening mode as well, which is another minor irritation when going from one album to the next. So transfer mode solves some problems, half corrects one problem, but not really, and then gives us some new ones to deal with. So it's, yeah, it's, I don't know really how I feel about this, but the important thing is that I share it with you in light of my previous video, because this really is the state of play with DTS PlayFi right now. Now, if you've got this far in this video, I thought I would also add some thoughts about how the 6000A Play as a streaming amplifier compares to the very similarly priced Blue Sound Power Node, the 2021 edition. Now, most obviously, one of these amplifiers is Kallax-Fi and the other ain't. Now, that matters to some people and not others, a bit like gapless playback. So if Kallax-Fi matters to you, also let us know in the comment section below. I'd love to know how many of you really value an amplifier that can fit inside a Kallax unit. Now, in terms of sound quality, the power node favors detail retrieval and layer separation, but it does so at the slight expense of music's body. It sounds a little bit more skeletal than the Audio Lab. However, somewhat unexpectedly, that makes it a better acoustic match, in my opinion, with the Forte 4 that you see behind me. However, if I was choosing to run the KEF LS50 Meta or the Golden Ear BRX without a sub, I would choose the Audio Lab amplifier every time because it just seems to be a better acoustic fit, electrical fit. I guess the two are interrelated. But if I'm bringing a subwoofer into play with the Audio Lab, we have to use the preamplifier outputs and then we're into something called augmentation mode where the speakers are still running as full range as they possibly can, and we're just trying to bring in a bit of bass from below without crossing over too hard. The blue sound makes subwoofer integration so much easier with its sort of one-click bass management system. So if I'm bringing a sub into play, I we're probably gonna use the power node as opposed to the audio lab. But I would also choose the power node because it's playback on Rune, Tidal Connect, and inside the Blue OS app, is gapless, it's 100% gapless. It does not insert artificial, tiny slices of silence between tracks, not on any of it. So if you're a gapless fiend, as I am, you might not be, but I am, as you well know, and this will be the last time I probably talk about gapless. I know I've talked about this a lot in the, in the last two videos. I promise you, this is the end of it for me. Like I've, I've made my case for gapless playback and we're gonna draw a line under it once this video is done. But anyway, yeah, I would choose the Blue Sound device over the Audio Lab if I wanted gapless. Unless, of course, I had the Audio Lab 6000A minus the Play Fi, and then I would add my own external streamer and have gapless that way and have the best of both worlds. So it is possible. Anyway, that's as far as I've got with DTS PlayFi in the very first few days of 2022. That's where it stands. Now, you've also got to watch out for PlayFi in other products because it will be the same. So it is in a quad 
amplifier. I think it's in a Macintosh product. There's one in a Sonus Faber product. So where you see PlayFi, you will now have transfer mode. You'll have smaller gaps if you want them. I mean, transfer mode is optional, but if you do engage transfer mode, you have to be prepared for the compromises that it brings to the table. Namely, you can't browse music whilst listening to music. And for some people, that might be another deal breaker. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. If you like my attitude towards making videos about hi-fi gear in that if I miss something, I'll be the first person to say, yeah, I made a mistake and I missed it, and here's the correction, or here's the extra information that I discovered from realizing that I've missed something. So if you dig that, then please consider subscribing to this channel. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.